Hi everybody, this is Parker from TestPrepChampions.com and I'm glad that you joined me today, so thank you for doing that. We're covering slope today and we're going to do a practice problem that has to do with calculating the slope of a straight line. So the question is, what is the slope of a straight line that contains the points 3, 12, and 8, 32? So go ahead, try this out on your own, and then we'll go over it. Okay, cool. Hopefully you had a chance to try this, but if not, that's fine too. We're going to do this right now. So slope is confusing to a lot of students because they don't really understand what it means. And so for the purposes of this question, the concept is basically irrelevant. You don't have to understand it, but... I'll tell you what it is. Basically, the slope, it just gives you an indication of how steep a line is. That's really all it is. So people often say that the slope is the rise over run, and that's one way you can think about it. But it's the basically you're, what you're doing is you're taking the y coordinates, you're taking two y points and two x points, and you're going to subtract the y points, subtract the x points, and you're just taking the ratio, or you're just dividing them. So basically, in this coordinate pair, you've got, let's call this x1, and we'll call this y1. And so in this pair, we'll do x2, and we'll call this y2. So I always highly recommend for students to label whenever you get a question like this. Always, always, always label the label the coordinate points as x1, y1, x2, y2. A lot of students don't like to take the time to do that. I'm not really sure why, but oftentimes when they do it, it makes way more sense. So the symbol for slope it is just an m. So the formula for slope is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, and so now if we had a graph, really, which I'm just going to make this, oops, that doesn't look like a very straight line. So if we had a graph, okay, let's say that we had, I don't know, we had a line passing through here, like a line, maybe something like this. And what we would do is we could pick two points on that line. So I'd give you two points here, a point here, and I'll give you a point here maybe. And so then what you would do is you would say, you would look at this point here and you would look at the x-coordinate. You would just go right down here and look on the x-coordinate. So maybe this is, let's say, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. So that would be 4 in this example. And I'm just making these up. Maybe we have like 1, 2, 3. Now let's just call this 3. This is not really to scale, but this is just to show you an example. So the, the, the point here, this would be 4, 3, right? Because you always want to put the x-coordinate first. And so then this value here, let's say that's 1 on the x-axis and 2 on the y-axis. So you put the x first, so you put 1, comma 2. All right, and so the point is, so then we would just use the formula. So I just made up this little example here. Hopefully that doesn't get you more, more confused, but I just wanted to kind of show you that what we're doing here, when you see this 3, 12, and 8, 32, these are just points on a line. And these are just coordinate points on a line that were picked and given to you. And so then we're just going to plug them in here into the example. So our y2, we would plug into the equation for y2. And our y1, we plug into the equation for y1. x1, we plug in for x1. And x2, we plug in for x2. And if you're not sure what I mean by plug in, that's okay. I'll show you here. So y2 is 32. So all I mean by plug in is you just write 32 in place of y2 minus y1, and so 12 is our y1, so you put a 12 right here, okay, and then down below here, we would just put x2 minus x1, so we're going to do 8 for x2 minus 3, and so, all right, let's see here, we've got 32 minus 12, that's going to be 20, and then we do 8 minus 3, that's going to give us 5, and so then 20 divided by 5 is 4, and so 4 is going to be the answer. And then we're done. So like I said, that's just the slope. It's just telling you the steepness of a line, basically. And that's all you have to know about the concept. But the formula here is really the most important thing. So if nothing else from this video, hopefully this drawing over here didn't confuse you, but I, just, I made this drawing just to show you that what these are when you see 312 and 832, you're seeing points on a line. Okay, and we're taking those points on the line and we're plugging them into the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and that just gives us the slope 
Okay, and in this case, the slope is 4. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you like this explanation, you thought this was going to be helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And not only would I appreciate it, but it also lets me know if this is helpful for you so I'll know what kind of content to keep making to help you pass the GD test faster. And also, please subscribe so you won't miss any more GD math practice problems of the day. So this is Parker from DesperateChampions.com. Thank you so much for your time. Good luck on your test.